Nay, sure, he's not in hell. He's in Arthur's bosom. If ever a man went to Arthur's bosom, and I made a finer end, and went away as it had been any Christom child. I parted just between twelve and one, e'en at the turning of the tide. For after I saw him fumble with the sheets, and play with the flowers, and smile upon his finger's end, I knew there was but one way for his nose was sharp as a pen, and a babble of green fields. Oh, now, Sir John, quoth I, what man, be a good cheer. And they cried out, oh, gold, 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 three or four times. And I, to comfort him, bade him should not think of God, I hope there was no need to trouble himself with any such thoughts. And I bade me lay more clothes on his feet. I put my hand into the bed and felt them. And they was cold as any stone. And then I felt to his knees. And so, upward and upward. And all was cold as any stone.